Roman here with Basic to Final, and in this video I'll be looking at entering waypoints into the CDU and navigation system of the A10C. So we're over the range here, just uh, to the northeast of Creech, just above 12,000 feet. I'm going to throw it into altitude hold and uh, kind of anchor over here. So we'll hit F10, and first things first, on the map, upper left hand corner, you can see coordinates and the elevation. If you hit the keybind left alt plus Y, you can cycle through the units. So decimal degrees, lat long, and uh, MGRS right here. So that's pretty handy, uh, definitely helpful uh, going forward. So let's go back to the pit now. I've selected uh, two waypoints, Creech, uh, actually three waypoints, Creech, the west bomb circle and east bomb circle. And so let's look at putting these waypoints in. So let's put uh, CDU up on the right display. We'll come down here. We can enter the waypoint page. And actually, if you want to know a quick trick, you can hit function waypoint and do the same thing. So everything that I'm going to show you on the CDU can be done on the UFC as well for better situational awareness. So we're in the waypoint page. Let's create a new waypoint. And so I just hit the copy button to start blank. So our first waypoint, we're going to call waypoint one. So WP decimal one, and we can name it here. So we'll name our waypoint. It's in lat long mode. We can put in the elevation, although uh, if we do a good waypoint, it will spit the elevation back for us. This can be useful though, if you want an elevation higher than the actual ground um, uh, elevation. So let's do a lat long one first. We're going to do north, three, six, three, four, five, eight. Put that in the northing. And then the next one we'll do on the UFC up here. We'll hit the letter and we'll find west. So letter, oops, that wasn't right. We'll hit clear, letter west. And it's going to be 115. Four zero two eight, and you can hit the OSB down here or right there. I hit here so I don't screw it up, and that's pretty much it. We've created a new waypoint, and uh, that worked out pretty well. Let's create a, a, a MGRS waypoint. So I just hit copy again. We're going to call the West Circle T G T decimal one and then I'll put W for West we'll rename that we'll select UTM or MGRS and it's going to be 11 Sierra which is actually already in there so 11 Sierra and then it is Papa Alpha Papa Alpha and let's do a six digit grid three three four five four six boom no problem so that was really fast and let's do a third waypoint and this time we'll do a 10 digit grid so we'll do tgt decimal two and this is the east circle where we'll rename our waypoint 11 sierra papa alpha we don't need to type in the papa alpha this time we can just type in the numbers three five zero one two five three seven four zero and we type that in it spits back our elevation and so we are good to go there now if we hit function steer and we'll make sure that we are in mission HUD as soy DMS app we see waypoint one target one west target two east and going back we can see distance, uh, magnetic heading, there's Creech. So uh, it's 205 for 12.7, target 1, 164 for 7.1. Now let's say that you screwed up and you made a waypoint that you didn't want to do. Let's do that real fast. I'm going to copy this one and we'll call it uh, error. 
All right, so you're here, you just, you created a waypoint, you copied it, and you're like, uh-oh, what do I do? I want to go back and edit it. If you try and hit uh, waypoint here, your last known one, uh, you can edit. But uh, let's say you make a new waypoint and it's buried. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit function, steer, select your waypoint. So we'll go to the arrow one, hit the waypoint OSB, that brings us back to our page, and we can edit it. We cannot delete waypoints, but we can edit the waypoints. And so that works out to be pretty handy. Okay, so we just covered uh, creating your standard waypoints with UTM, MGRS, Latlong. So now let's look at offset waypoints. So we can access this page from the UFC function four for offset. We can do it from the CDU down here, select offset. And now we are ready to create a new waypoint. So Basically, you're going to want to put in your initial point. So let's do our TGT decimal 2 east. And we'll put our initial point in here. And now let's set up our offset. So let's say we wanted to create an offset waypoint 360 for 10. We would just type in 360 for 10 and put that into our distance and heading. And we want to name this waypoint, of course. So what we'll do, and actually we can put in our elevation as well up here, but uh, let's name it R P period one. And to create the name, you'll just hit the OSB. So you'll type it in and then hit that, uh, that LSK key before you type it. Say you type it, or you forget to type it, you just hit that key. It's okay, you can go back and actually edit it just like I showed last time, uh, but it will have like a default like MSN number for the waypoint. So we'll go function steer, and now we see RP1, and uh, it's if we go back to our tad here, zoom out, RP1 is actually just north of our uh, East circle so that worked out pretty well okay so the last thing I want to show is putting a time on target into your waypoint page so we're in the position page now so we'll hit function steer and let's select a waypoint let's do our creech waypoint we'll come down here and we'll hit the page down rocker actually I'm sorry so we're in the steer we'll go to the waypoint page now we'll hit the page down rocker and you can see time on target. And so it is uh, 0742, so it's gonna be 43. Let's put a time on target of 0746000, time on target. We'll go function steer. And so with this waypoint active, we now have a line under our speed indicator. It says R205. And what that means is we can fly direct and actually you can set that up uh, let's see go back down so direct and route and function steer again so if we fly direct to that waypoint we're going to require an airspeed of 203 202 uh, to actually reach it on our time on target so if I start slowing my aircraft down we will see that I can actually match up that speed and get my time on target that I've entered in. So if you've got a precision strike and you're flying a bunch of people and you all have to be on target at the right time, the A-10 will help you do it. You just gotta fly the airspeed it tells you to. So that's pretty cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be worth your time. If so, consider helping us out by liking, commenting, or subscribing below. It definitely helps to grow the channel. And again, we appreciate you watching. Thank you.